When you open Cubase, the first thing you will see is a project assistant. And there you have to choose what kind of projects are you gonna open. And in my case, I'm gonna I'm gonna select the option more and then the empty one. Once you do that, you want to name the project folder. So you put the name of the song in there. Good. After that, I prepared this project and I put some uh, drums and bass and guitars. And now I'm going to tell you how to record another track. The first thing you need to do is to add a track where to record. In this case, this is QS5. Then you go here, right click, add a track and added audio track. Since I'm gonna record audio, I chose that option. And now you have different options in here. You can click on here and you see mono, stereo and more options. And in this case, I'm gonna choose mono for my recording. Then you remember to name the track. If you double click in there, you can name it as you wish. Since I'm recording a voice, I'm gonna title it like that. The next step is to make sure that you have the sound going to the right places. In this panel in here, you can choose the inputs. As you can see, there, there are many inputs, but my microphone is connected to mono in. That's the input. So that's the stereo out. That's the normal output. How do I know if my microphone is recording in the right way? Well, you click in monitor. And as you see, the sound changes because I put some effects in this channel. So, the only thing we need now is enable to record this track. I'm gonna take this out, the cycle, and uh, and now I'm gonna record. Let's see. Sobre el agua formando un espacio intermedio Lo seco aparece en escena cuando el agua se va corriendo Luego aparecerían la luna, el sol y todas las estrellas Y así se forma el primer día y luego la primera noche Ok, that, that was the recording and it seems to me that it was good but we're gonna listen to it and check out for defects okay I hope you like this video and you remember how to do it in Cubase 5